So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this in exact values because I'm assuming that's what they want. Um, and not really decimal. I could always get a root of 160 if I just plugged it into a calculator. Um, but I'm assuming what they want is an exact value. So I'm gonna assume here that they want an exact value of the square root of 160 here. So square root of 160, how would I do this problem here? So if I drew this out and I would just say, this is the square root of 160, how would I break this radical down for me to get um, square roots that I can actually solve for? So how I usually do this question is I were to say that root 60, I would kind of divide um, the, the, the root here or whatever is inside the root by, by it by two right because this is an even number right so if I divide by two I would get kind of two times this is whatever two divided by what uh, 165 by two is which is two root 80 right and as you can see here um, uh, I can do this problem again right I can take another root two out and then uh, mit, uh, basically diminish this value I'm gonna see if I can find some sort of uh, common value here right so again, I can take root two here. I have root two here times. I want. I'm going to divide root eighty by root two again. So I'm going to take it take it out. So I'm going to have root two again times eighty divided by two. Here is uh, root uh, forty. So I have root two times root two times root forty here. Well, I know that root two and root two cancel out, right? Root two. These square roots just cancel out. Root two times root two is simply just two, right? So this here equals two root forty, or two times root forty. You doesn't matter how you write it. And again, I can do the exact same thing for this 40 here, right? I see that um, 40 here can be divided into two. So you can say this is two times, I'll say root two again, times root 20 now in this case. Um, 40 divided by two is 20. And then again, I can do the exact same thing with root 20, I can divide it by two, right? So equals two times a root two times another root two times root 10, right? And now you can see that I have root two and root two, the square roots cancel out. So I have this here equals two times two times root 10, two times two equals four. So I have four times root 10, which here is my, uh, this here is my answer, right? Because what I can't do is I can't separate 10 into, I could do, divide um, two into, I uh, could divide 10 into two parts and say that this would also equal four times root two times, again, root five, because I have 10 divided by two is root five. Um, but we don't really do our radicals like this. We don't really do four root two root five. That doesn't really make sense. It would just simply be, be root 10. It's usually a integer and one square root as our exact value. So in this case, this here is our correct answer. So four root 10 is our correct answer in terms of uh, exact values, which I'm assuming that's what they're doing here. So say, so what is the square root of 160? So they're doing this, uh, a methodas shown val. Uh, they're doing a methodas methodas uh, 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 kind of method here, where they take. Um, they're basically solving for um, for square roots. Uh, they're commu they're computing what a square root is. So let's see what they did here. So they took one sixty and then they divided it by twelve here. They're doing long division. So twelve times twelve is one forty one forty four. You get a remainder of sixteen here. And since, uh, okay, let me just read. So take a value such that the square of it is less than 160 and proceed like long division. So square of 12 is 144. Also drag the next divisor value as the product of the first divisor and two. So this here becomes 24. Here, 12 times two is 24. And then now take the term as zero and use decimal and the quotient to solve it further by taking six since one 246 times six is 1,476, right? So again, uh, they're doing, uh, they're bringing down, they're, they're bringing down, they have imaginary zero here, so they're making it 1,600 here. And then 2,246 times six here equals, uh, there's a closest number to 1,600, right? And they're adding six um, into the, this makes the new divisor and you can simply repeat this process to get another decimal place. So this here says that it's tw uh, the square root is 12.64, which is the correct answer here. Um, again, you can do the exact same thing with four root 10 and you would have gotten the same answer here, right? If I were to say that, if I did the method value for root 10 here, 
um, I would get something, uh, I would get a value that, that is very, very similar to uh, whatever 12.64 divided by three is. So 12.64 divided by, or sorry, divided by four is like 3.16. So if I did that, if I took the value of, uh, if I did the method as value for root 10. So let's say that I have, uh, I have, oh, sorry, this is still boxes. I keep forgetting. I have root 10 here. And what I would have to do is I would have to do um, um, whatever the divisor here in this case would have been, would be whatever the square is closest to this number, right? So you get, in this case, it would be three, right? Three squared here is nine, right? And then I can do, um, and I have a one here, 10 minus nine here is one. I have, and then I could add imaginary um, zero here. And then my next divisor in this case would have been uh, the, uh, the the product of the first divisor and two, right? So three times two here is six, right? Six here. And I can do the same division, right? Six times what is closest to 10, six times one is the closest to 10, right? I can add my decimal here and I have six minus that, 10 minus six here is four. And I can add another zero and then proceed like so, right? Uh, so, and then again, I have, and then I have 6 and 40 again. I can say 3.16, um, 6 here, uh, 6 times 6 is 36. And then uh, you realize that this here repeats here itself, right? Because I, I can bring down the zero again and I would simply get, uh, I would keep getting 6 on top. So, if it's the same thing as saying that um, uh, it's 4 times, 4 times 3.16, right? If I assume that root 10 here equals root 10 equals 3.16. Therefore, I have four times 3.16, and this here would give me a value of 12.64. Sorry, 12.64, which is my answer for, for uh, which is the same answer as uh, root root 160 here. So again, there's two ways to, to approach this. You can use exact values or you can use the method as method. And again, it's up to you. It's basically up to you in terms of how to commute, to commute this and what the question is asking. If they want it in decimals, then you have to do this method. If they want an exact values, which usually is what you, what teachers want, then you kind of have to simplify the radical like so. So I'm going to say this question is correct. Uh, great answer and analysis. Solution here is correct.